Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to what will probably be a rather short video today. It's going to be a short video primarily because what I'm playing here isn't an actual game. It's more of a proof of concept than anything else right now, but I had to showcase it because it's very, very cool. And as a lifelong Zelda fan, I'm kind of blown away that this thing even exists. Um, and I really hope the creator of this continues to work on it and develops it into something proper, something full-fledged that I can play through. Now, you might be asking, what is this? Well, this is the Ocarina of Time rebuilt in Unreal Engine 5. Now, because it's been rebuilt in Unreal Engine 5, I was able to take it, push it into first person, and attach the sword and shield to my motion controls in VR using the Unreal Engine VR mod. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. We've got a fan product, a fan project that's been built in Unreal and I've taken that, applied the Unreal Engine VR mod injector to it, pushed it into first person and then clipped the weapons and shields etc to my hands. There's a lot of stuff going on but it's very, very cool. Now, right now, as I say, it's basically just a proof of concept, but boy, oh boy, is it a very nice-to-look-at proof of concept. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous, and it looks incredible in VR. It is quite performance-intensive. I will show you um, a different area in a moment. The current demo is basically loaded with a few iconic areas from Ocarina of Time. So you've got uh, you've got Hyrule Field, you've got inside the Deku Tree, you've got Goron Mountain, um, and I'll jump into some of those locations and show you what they look like. Uh, Lost Woods, I think, is one as well. So basically, in this current build of the demo or project, which has been made available by the developer on their YouTube channel, their name is Kryzen X. So Cry Z E N X. Um, you can hop between all these different iconic locations and see them running in gorgeous Unreal Engine 5. But if you have the UE VR injector, you can then do crazy things with it, like force it into first person um, and um, play it like that. But there's not really a game to play per se. Now I do think I can run through here and head towards Hyrule Castle. I think this works. Uh, hopefully it does work amazing now most locations you have to load into using like a main menu overlay but I can, <laughs> I can load into this one there's the moon moving across the sky look there's Navi flying around where's she gone there she is this looks incredible in VR I have to say now before we move on I just want to talk about performance this thing is quite performance intensive especially in areas like this bigger open areas Hyrule Field is probably the worst you can really feel the system starting to struggle with that and I've got a 4090 but Unreal Engine 5 plus the UEVR injector plus the fact that this is a fan project and might not be super optimized um, especially not optimized to handle VR that kind of builds into a situation where yeah performance does start to dip but there are really impressive things going on like this has the day night cycle <laughs> that ocarina of time has so right now it's transitioning from nighttime to daytime which is really really cool now i don't know if this is the whole stealth castle bit but i am going to try and find out um i think i'm just going to go down here uh, oh my word Okay, that's fine. I can't really die in this. It's basically just a demo. Right, let's see if the stealth bit of the game is intact and I can actually play it in this demo. Oh my god, there's a man right there! Um, I think the game's actually playing two songs at the same time right now, by the way. It's got, like, the jaunty Legend of Zelda theme, but it's also got, like, the spooky nighttime battle intensifying song. Okay, now it's just playing one. Look how good the castle looks. It looks incredible. Look at the castle. The castle looks so good. It looks amazing. Right, let's go and find uh, Thingy's dad. Lon Lon Ranch Man. The dude that literally looks like Mario. Can I roll into the trees? Mm, not really. I rolled through the tree. Uh, there he is. Sleepy Mario Man. I can't wake him up though because I don't have the chicken. Oh my god, he looks even more like Mario in this. Oh, it's the hair! Like, the realistic hair! <laughs> oh my, he looks amazing! Now, I will say, I've seen loads of these, like, Unreal Engine um, 
remakes of Nintendo games, and they often look a bit weird because they try to make things look too realistic and the characters kind of lose their personality and charm. I've seen a bunch with Mario where he's like six foot tall, he just looks wrong. But I would say in here, the characters kind of retain their Ocarina of Time art style whilst looking modern. So, Kryzen X has done a great job of retaining the way that Ocarina of Time feels whilst modernizing it. I go in the water. Oh, I can. Oh, oh no. It's put a weird water effect all over my eyes. I need to get out. <laughs> I need to get out. Okay, that is very cool. So you can run right up to the castle, but you can't do the stealth bit because that would involve getting the chicken to wake the dude up. And I can't do that because this is just a demo at this stage. Now, one thing I will say is I'm not the smartest person in the world when it comes to Unreal Engine VR. I'm learning. I'm getting better at it. I've been able to make Link's kind of skeletal mesh invisible. I've been able to attach the sword and shield to my hands, so it's got motion controls, etc, etc. One thing I cannot do in this demo, and if you can figure it out, I will love you forever, I cannot make the hat invisible. I, I don't know why. I can find the skeletal mesh for it. It took me a little while, but I found it. I cannot switch visible to invisible. Every time I click it, it just clicks itself back on, um, and I can't save the invisible state. It, it just keeps turning itself back on. So that means I've had to position the camera a bit further away than I'd like. I'm kind of not aligned with where Link's skeletal mesh or his body actually is. I'm a bit in front of that, just so the hat isn't clipping through. It's it's kind of a it's the best it's the best compromise I could come up with. Look at this high rule field. Now this bit is quite performance intensive. It will be interesting to see how well this runs. But look at, I mean, look at it. All the grass is like moving. I think I can chop the grass as well. Yeah, look. I can chop the grass. I can find hearts. It's flipping crazy. Now, at the moment, you might think, oh my word, he's managed to get motion control fighting working. No, it's kind of an illusion. Basically, all I'm doing, because I can swing the sword, and pressing B is the attack. So I just kind of link it up. So if you press B and swing, you'll see that the attack kind of, I don't know, like the line for the attack lines up with your sword. But I could just sit here and do that, and I would be attacking. So if I swing without pressing B, there's no attack. I have to press B as well. So that's the best I could figure out how to get kind of motion controls working for attacking. It's still very cool, but I am having to press a button to chop down this grass. But yeah, this area is quite performance intensive. I got him disappearing in the grass. How tall is this? <laughs> oh my. Let's get out of here. I want to go to Lon Lon Ranch. All the grass is like swaying in the breeze. You've got this kind of real time lighting and the clouds kind of moving overhead. You've got birds, the trees are kind of blowing in the wind. It's really bloody impressive um, what Kryzen has been able to make here, what they've been able to build. And my understanding is they are going to try to build, you know, the whole game um, in Unreal Engine 5 so that you can play the whole thing like this. That would be a dream come true. If that happens, I'm going to be so bloody happy. Oh, it's one of them big pineapple spinning things of death. I never really understood what they were. Just kind of creatures, I guess. Don't like them. I'm going to go and wake that one up. See you later, birds. See you later. Oh, look at it! Giant pineapple of death! <laughs> oh my god! Giddy aunt, that is crazy. I think he's trying to kill me immediately. Oh, I don't like it. And then the battle music starts. See, my hat's coming back. I can see my hat when I try and look back if I'm running and uh, looking backwards, which is a real shame. I need to turn that bloody hat invisible. That is gorgeous. It's definitely nearly night time, though. Look at that. The sun is setting. Blimey, it looks so nice. Oh. Okay, here comes the darkness. Oh, the drawbridge is going up in the distance. That's so cool. Right. Are we going to get skeletons straight away? Is it going to happen immediately? I hope so. I hope so. I want to fight some. There's the moon. There's Navi. Oh, so cool. Oh, I heard some skeletons. Look at them. They look amazing. Right. One by one. One by one. All right. One. Two. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Very nice, very nice. And again, one, two. Oh, okay, that was that was smoother than I expected it to be. I destroyed those skelly boys. 
they didn't have a clue what was going on. I don't think the shield will work. Oh. Okay, I'm holding down the shield button now. No, that didn't work. Ah, okay. The shield is attached to my hand, but I don't think it's working. Um, as a shield, anyway. Oh, there we go. Very, very cool. This is so good. Right. I need to get to Long Long Ranch. I can't sit here and fight Skellingtons all day. That's just... Oh, no, they're spawning in front of me. That's just ridiculous. Come on. Lon Lon Ranch. Let's go. I, it's so good looking, man. It's crazy. Look at it. It's beautiful. Now, you can obviously play this in third person. Um, if you want to. If you don't want to tinker around and... Oh, no. Look at them. Oh. <laughs> I want to get you. Why can I not get you? Okay, they might have programmed it so we can't... Uh, we can't set the chickens off. We can't set the cuckoos off. Um, so yeah, you can play this in third person. If you don't want to tinker with all the first person stuff like I've done, you can just load in and see it in third person. It will play better like that. You'll be able to lock onto enemies, swap to like your stick, use your um, use your slingshot. Because I can get the slingshot out right now, but it's attached to like my head. Um, it's down there in my body. I could go into the settings and attach that to my hand, but I feel like it would be constantly attached to my hand, if you know what I mean. So it would always be there as well as the sword. I need to tinker with this some more to get the very best results. Um, but I think if you just want to see it and appreciate Kryzen's work, then playing it in third person is the right thing to do, I would say. Um, that horse is stuck in the fence. You should probably do something about that. They do look a bit like Uncanny Valley, don't they? They look a bit scary, actually. Look at the big shiny eyes. Hello. Fairy boy, yeah, I'm a fairy boy, that's me. Uh, I did find your dad, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's come home, okay, so we're at that part of the game now, great. Can I ride on a pona? Is that allowed? Come here, oi, oi, no, stop jumping over hurdles. I want to ride on you. Okay, right now I think I'm actually on Epona, because I have the carrots at the bottom of the screen now, and I can press A to eat the carrots. <laughs> It feels like I'm just gliding along at a higher pace, but I am actually on Epona right now, which is which is very cool. I think this would look a lot better in uh, in third person. In first person, I'm just kind of like flying around. Hello, look at me go! I'm so fast! Ah, get out of the way, you stupid horse! <laughs> right, I think that's all of uh, Lon Lon. How do I get off? Wow. This is probably the best looking location I've been to so far. Look at the, the bloody reflections. Temple of Time looking fine. Holy hell. Oh, this is crazy. Look at the light. No wonder this is like performance intensive. Like, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. They've done some crazy. Look at that. Like, the reflections on the sword, the shadows on the sword. Man, they've done some crazy work here. Again, I really do hope that um, Kryzen finishes this, you know. Um, turns it into a full-fledged thing. Hopefully it doesn't get shut down by Nintendo. We know what Nintendo are like. They hate people having fun with their properties and, and making kind of unsolicited mods and uh, remakes and stuff. You know, I can't even count on both hands how many kind of fan projects have been shut down by Nintendo over the years. From Metroid to Pokemon to Zelda... There's a lot of them. So this may exist just as a demo. So I would say download it while you can. Because it's super cool. And I would love every Zelda fan to at least see it while it's available. And not um, not Nintendo lawyered. Yeah, I really don't know how I feel about the character models actually. They do retain the charm of Ocarina of Time. But they also look kind of terrifying. Uh, so I'm not going to spend any more time looking at her. I do love this though. That is such a nice little tribute to add into the game and project. This is amazing. Look at this. Bloody hell. This is so special. I love it. Now, I can feel the game struggling to run here somewhat. The frame rate has tanked quite a bit. But I understand it. I understand why. Look at all these like particles and stuff. It's like packed with effects and just things going on. It's, it's, it's pretty, you know... Pretty impressive. Um, I do. I, I am growing to, to hate these character models, though. Look at her. She is terrifying. Her face is far too shiny. She's covered in moisturizer. It's uh, you know, I, I get that you should have a good moisturizing route. And what's he doing? 
Shagging a rock. Don't like that. Freaking me out. Look at these shiny elves all over the place. It's, it's, it's creeping me out. Um, yeah, this looks phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Look at these guys, what are they all doing? He's slapping a bush. He's planting something. He was never that insane in the original. Look at his legs! Look at him go! He's doing like some kind of Gangnam style thing. Can I come past, please? Can I come past you? I come okay, that was easy. Straight past. Easy peasy. Is this the way to the Deku Tree? Or is it... Hey, this is the way to the Deku Tree. Hello! Ah, take that! Take that! Oh, that's flipping cool. That is flipping cool. Right, come here, you. Ah, yeah! You're dead. Do I get to look at the Deku Tree in all his glory? <gasps> it's amazing! And he's moving! Oh, it's so cool! He is huge. And he looks way more alive than he ever did in the actual Ocarina of Time. Look at him moving about with his big nose and his moustache. Flipping heck. Oh, yeah, this is, a, this is a Zelda dream come true. This is amazing. Uh, I'll go in here, and then I've kind of showed you, like, almost everything there is to show. There's a couple more little areas, but I don't want this demo to be particularly long. And you can just come and download this yourself. It's free. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Ah, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this! There's a Skulter up there. Are they called Skulters, or is that just the ones that... Or Skulchula? I can't remember if that's just the ones that you collect, but that is terrifying. I need to look at that up close, and then we'll call it a day. Flipping hell. This is Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Rebuilt in the Unreal Engine 5. And I'm pushing it into VR with the UE VR injector. And then doing some weird magic stuff to get it running in first person as well. Absolutely bonkers. Right, let's climb the wall. Let's go and see some of these spiders up close and personal. This is going to be horrible. Oh yeah, up we go. If I could just make that hat invisible, I would be having an even better time. If anyone can figure it out, hit me up. Let me know. Okay, I can't properly use my slingshot, but I can target them and then just press the slingshot button. And that works. Not ideal. But it's, it's an okay workaround, you know? Can I target? Okay, I can't target them ones all the way up there. They're going to be problematic. I'm just going to have to climb past them, aren't I? Oh, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't just... No, he's climbing at me! I didn't know they did that. I didn't know they did that. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. We need to leave. We need to leave right now. Post haste. I really don't want that to come down and be anywhere near me. That looks too disgusting. Oh, it's not nice. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. I hate it. I hate it quite a lot. Right, how close do I need to get to, to actually land a chop? My sword's only very small. Right, hold on. Spin around. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't bloody work. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Maybe I left it too late. Come on, turn around. Ah, I got him. Ah, run away. Bloody heck. He's killing me. These things are disgusting. There we go. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got the big disgusting bastard. Oh, it's horrible. They are not nice in Unreal. Like, they look too real. Um, yeah, too like... Yeah, no, not nice. It's the legs. Look at the legs. Look at all the, the spindly weird stuff the legs are doing. Don't like it. There's one. There's one. Spin... Oh, he's too close to my face. Oh, no. Spin round. Spin round. Go away. Go away. Go away. There we go. His legs have all fallen off. He's very dead. Okay, can I jump down through the middle bit from here? Yeah! Oh my god, I can! Right, I am going to leave it here. This is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, remade in Unreal Engine 5 by Kryzen X. Check out his YouTube channel. Something just hit me from behind. It was that stupid thing. Take that, you bugger. Get dead. Check out his YouTube channel. You can come and download this completely for free. It is just a demo. It contains a selection of locations from the core game. And yeah, it's very impressive with the UEVR mod. If you've got the PC to run it, it does feel quite performance intensive in places. But uh, yeah, I love it. And if anyone can figure out how to get rid of this stupid hat, it would be much appreciated because uh, I hate it. I also couldn't get rid of the sheath for the sword. I've kind of captured it in some kind of limbo between being visible and invisible so again that's the best i could do i'm not super intelligent when it comes to uevr hope you've enjoyed everyone if you have please do leave a like leave a comment hit subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you soon for another one take care everyone Bye bye